right, Josh Smith here for Guitar.com. Thank you guys for asking me for my guitar story. And I figured I'd talk about my uh, new baby, my brand new Ibanez signature model, the Flat 5-1. Um, this is something I've been working on with Ibanez for two years, and I know that sounds cliche, oh, we worked on it for two years, but it's really the truth. Um, if you know me at all and my playing, or you've seen me play in the last 15 years, you've probably seen me play a black Telecaster-style guitar. It was made by Bill Chapin. Uh, it was my main guitar for years and years, and I love it dearly. Um, and Ibanez approached me about two years ago, like I said, when they had launched the AZ line and it was a big success. And they brought over an early AZ before they were even released for me to check out. And honestly, I was totally blown away by the quality of the guitar. It wasn't the Ibanez, you know, that I was prejudiced to have, uh, you know, have my thoughts about coming up, growing up, you know, thin necks and shredder guitars. It was a really high quality guitar with a great roasted maple neck, a great feel, impeccable fretwork, high quality materials. And I was really impressed. So they said, hey, so this guitar is our new thing. We think it's going to be a big success. And if it is, we'd like to do a more T-style version of this kind of high-end guitar. And we'd like you to be our guy to help us with this and to launch a signature model. And I was just, of course, honored and shocked, blown away, whatever. You know, Ibanez is such a huge company. I mean, I remember as a kid, my first NAMM show at 13 years old, I waited in line in the Ibanez booth to get you know, Steve Vai's autograph. And, you know, these were, you know, guitar heroes. So many of them were playing Ibanez guitar. So it was an honor for them to even approach and to think of me. And then came, you know, the process of working on the guitar. So, of course, there were things about my main guitar that I wanted to capture, uh, like the neck shape and things like that. And to Ibanez's credit, they were 100% open to me doing anything I wanted to do on this guitar to making it a comfortable guitar for me. They didn't place limitations on me. And it was a really rewarding experience going over this guitar with them, coming up with all the aspects. And there's nothing on this guitar that wasn't carefully thought out and measured. So let's talk about it. It's got a roasted maple neck with a roasted maple fretboard. So it's maple cap. I like that because of stability. Not only is it roasted for extra stability, you have the maple cap. This neck will not move. Um, it's got a kind of satin hand rub finish, a very vintage finish for Ibanez. And the shape is a vintage V style, like a 50s Fender style neck, which is something they hadn't done. I would say without hesitation, this is the most vintage style Ibanez on the market. Not only that, it's the only Ibanez with vintage tuners. By that I mean string down into the shaft and then twist. So vintage style tuners, only Ibanez that has that. Um, it's 21 frets. I think it's the only Ibanez that has 21 frets. All these things are really important to me. So the fret themselves are based off my Stumac 154s, with which I love. They're just the uh, brand that Ibanez gets, but they're the same width, heights, and, and spec. So they're very comfortable for me. They're not enormous, but they're not vintage frets. They're jumbo frets, but not giant jumbo. They're just very comfortable, versatile frets. They're nickel, not stainless. That was the other, another thing they let me do because they have stainless on all the AZ and AZS models. So again, everything I wanted to do, they, they went with me. Um, moving down the neck and into the body, we end up with a slab body with a full vintage style neck heel, no contours. All the regular models of this guitar have contours, a different neck heel. Again, no pushback from them on what I wanted to do, which was really inspiring. Um, this pick guard, I drew this shape out and they went with it. The angled control plate, angled switch, more like a Strat, but knobs that are straight and the plate is curved. It's very ergonomic and comfortable. Even the knobs themselves, we 3D printed out models of these knobs until I got the heavy knurl I wanted to feel, but not so heavy that it'll rip your fingers up. You know, so everything about this guitar, again, thought out. The pots and caps are similar to what was in my Chapin, a very hi-fi tone cap, um, a very specific value uh, and taper volume and tone pot. Okay, the pickups. Seymour Duncan, new signature pickups called the Flat 5 pickups. Um, they're really special. We went through a few revisions to get them right, and they're incredibly dynamic. A uh, pretty classic neck pickup, but with a little extra output, just barely. And then the bridge pickup is something special. It's mixed magnet, has Alnico 2 and Alnico 4. And it's what enables me to get that sound that if you've heard me 
you know, is kind of my sound. I think a dynamic bridge pickup that's easily versatile lets you stay on the bridge all night if you want. Just change volumes, change picking attack, and get all sort of different tones. The bridge itself, uh, collaboration between Ibanez and Goto. Um, these saddles are incredibly in tune, and they're titanium, which was what was on my Chapin guitar. I'm a big fan of titanium Telecaster style saddles. They're just fantastic. They ring out like a piano. And then this new in-tune Goto bridge design is really in tune. The intonation is slamming. It's radius, and the slots that are in the compensated saddles are also radius. So the strings stay in the perfect spot. Really impressive stuff. It's just a great guitar. I'm really proud of it. And I hope you'll give it a try when it hits stores and uh, pick it up if it's the kind of guitar that interests you. Even matching black headstock. They let me do that. So let's hear this thing. Here's neck pickup, no pedals, straight into my Morgan JS12 amp. So you can hear it's really warm, it has a little bit of extra output. Here's both pickups together. Just has that classic sound, you know. And here's the bridge pickup. Put a little gain on it. Here's the chula, my main pedal. dynamic it is. So thank you everybody for checking it out. This is the Ibanez Flat 5-1. Again, I couldn't be prouder of this guitar and prouder and more honored by the association with Ibanez. It's a dream come true. Thank you guitar.com for asking me for my guitar story and uh, check one out if you get a chance. Ruling. <laughs>